rolling. Let's go. What's up, yo? Hey, welcome to the podcast, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Chadwick. That's American Mech. We're back. It's October 2024, Red October. Phillies. I'm a big Phillies fan. I'm ready to rock it's and like, roll. Got my Eagles hat on too tonight, though, because I'm a big fan of them. Even though they're screwing up big time, you see uh, you had the storm going on this past week. You're at Mex out in Florida. He's in Port Charlotte. I was following the wow, news that was out a storm, dude. We had way worse. Yeah. I mean, it was good for you, but it was bad for North Carolina. They really got hit pretty bad. And, you know, there's a lot of flooding there, and there's a lot going on uh, right now. Even today, like uh, Kamala Harris, the horrible, the horrible Kamala Harris, Camila Harris, she said she's going to give out seven hundred fifty dollars to each of the victims, which is nothing compared to like what they went through. They need they need financial help right now, and they're not getting it. There's a lot of people that are struggling to get food on their table, to have a place to stay, and all. Of, there's a whole lot of bad stuff going on in North Carolina right now, in Asheville, North Carolina, was one of the main places that got hit. I don't know if you. How did you? How was it then? What was the storm like for you? Can you can you give us like an insider like how that went from like start to start to finish. Like, were you expecting it to be worse than it was? Well, or? For us, it wasn't that bad. It was just winds and a lot of rain, but we didn't get hit with, we had some floods, but it wasn't, we didn't, we didn't get hit too bad. I was reading like about. The streets were flooded, but. Yeah, I was, I was trying to. I was trying to follow the news on Port Charlotte while you were going through the storm. I was like looking on Google. I looked up Port Charlotte and I saw there were some parts of Port Charlotte that got hit pretty hard. I think, is that right? Or is it just like you got. Yeah, we got hit pretty hard. I mean, not hard, but like we are, some of our streets were flooded. You should, you should have saw my Snapchat. I posted it. Yeah. Like how flooded, like, like, uh, can you give us like a, with your hands, like a, like a kind of a uh, maybe like an inch of water. That's like this much. That's like an inch. A water in the street, but yeah. This this much. Yeah, but it 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 started to like go back into the creek or bay, whatever you want to call it. So yeah. it, it like started to dissipate after a while. So you, were you pretty you pretty prepared? You already went through a hurricane. You're. The first time we had you on the podcast, you had your trailer flipped and everything. This was nothing like that one, which I forget. I forget the name of the first one that you went through. What was the name of the first one? Oh, yeah, that sucks. That sucks, man. What was the name of that one? I forget. Do you remember? Hurricane Ian? I think it was called. Yeah, Hurricane Ian. Okay. My whole, whole entire army got completely wrecked. <laughs> yeah, were you expecting this one? To I missed be, that like, army. Were, did you, like, prepare for this one like you did for that one? Basically, you already knew kind of, like, how to get ready and everything. And, or, like, did you have, like, for example, like, did you go out ahead of time and go to the grocery store? Did you have food prepared and, like, and, like you know, prepared for the electricity to go out maybe? I think that you said the electricity went out, right? Is that right? Yeah. How long did that last for you? It... About two weeks. Oh, what? Well, no, you didn't, you, you didn't have electricity? Without electric. For two weeks? Yeah, without had... electric. Oh, my goodness. Four weeks. That yeah, is about a week time. on this thing without electric. Wow. For Ian, yeah, we were without electric for a week. So for Ian, you were only out for a week. For this one, you were out for two weeks, which is even more. No, for oh. this one, for Helena, I think this is what yeah, it's yeah. called. Or... Yeah, yeah, I think it was right. for Helena. Yeah, something like that. We were out for one day. One day. Oh, we one day. Okay, I got you. Yeah, I thought you were. This one was like I said. This one was not even that bad. Yeah, that's. And this was a tropical storm. This was nothing. Yeah, you're you're like you know, 
what it, I mean, you're out in Florida. It's like it rains there all the time. So it's like just some rain to you. It's like a little extra. Uh, but uh, shit, dude. Um, we had a couple branches come down, and that was it. I knew you were good because you were like hitting me up during the storm on your phone. I was like, thank goodness he has. Like, I was in a Florida phone. Yeah, I'm glad you had like phone service though. Even that was a good sign. I was like, oh, that's a good sign. I was happy to see that you were like doing good. Like, he, I know you're doing good if you're hitting me up to do like a podcast or something. I'm like, yeah, dude, he must be. I just okay. wanted to talk. I was like, I yeah, want yeah. to. Like, With nothing else to okay, do. Right? Just nothing. Yeah. So, yeah, man, it's, that's cool. Uh, yeah, this. Dude, uh, there's, there's, I don't know, like, how I was going to bring this up, but, like, there's this thing that Elon Musk made. It's called Starlink, and you can buy one of these devices. So if your power ever goes out, you still get internet access. Like, you don't need to have power. You can still get internet access without having power. So it costs about, like, $250 if, like, if you and your, uh, you and everybody that you live with, like, ever wanted to, to get one, you could get one for 200 bucks. And, like, any future storms that come, you'd always have internet access, which is, like, important, I think. So it might be worth something to check out. I'm thinking about getting one myself, but uh, it's kind of Well, cool. you can always have internet. Yeah, even when the power is out, you can still have internet with, with uh, one of these devices. It only costs about $250, and you can use it anywhere, so... It's like it's about it's about the size of an iPad. It's like this big, and you it's all you need, and like it gives you access to the internet no, pretty much everywhere, um, in all of the United States, no matter where you're at. So it's kind of a cool thing, future reference. Any on it and whatnot. Probably, yeah, yeah. So even if the power even if the power's out, you could still be gaming <laughs> or podcasting. How much does it cost someone? Some. Um, I know it costs two hundred fifty dollars for the system, and I'm not sure if there's a price per month after that. Uh, I'm not sure a hundred percent on that. It might be free. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I wonder right? how you get it all set up and whatnot. It's for, easy. Like, it's probably it easy. For... It's like it's like collecting it. It's like connecting a Bluetooth device. All you do is like. Hit connect on your computer or laptop. You just hit connect to uh, this device and you're connected to it. So, yeah, there you go. Future, future reference, man. Get. I think uh, you're in like a hurricane area. You know, you're probably gonna get more hurricanes in the future if you're in Florida still. You, I mean, you can only expect so. You've only lived there for like two years, and look how much you've had to deal with already. <laughs> you know what it's called. Yeah, it's called Starlink. Starlink. Yeah. How much does it cost? You know. Yes, yeah, I just said it like three times. It costs like two hundred fifty bucks. Two hundred. Like two hundred fifty. Yeah. I'll have to tell my dad and see if we can't get it. Yeah, definitely. I think it's like important to have them. Like, if the if you're going through like a bad storm that's like really bad in the future, like if you have one, you can get internet access, and like you know, if you need to like get certain information or something, like you want to know like w what to do in the situation, or like if the streets are safe, you know, you can look it up. You'll have internet access. It's so important. But yeah, it's kind of cool. <laughs> It's awesome. It's an awesome thing. They're they're sending the they're sending out a bunch of these devices to people right now who are in North Carolina. Uh, for free, they're sending them out to these people because a lot of people they're still out of power and they, they you know like I said their their homes are gone and they're struggling right now out in North Carolina. So it's it's awesome to have that now. Like the future is here, man. We're living in the future. <laughs> This this kind of stuff was never here available to us in the past, so now we have it, and it's great. Uh, and you can, yeah, imagine you like I could imagine you like on a podcast during a hurricane, <laughs> like all your powers out, but you're still like you're still like online. You're like <laughs> you're like you're like in the storm. You're like man, I'm in the fucking storm. Look at this fucking storm. Yeah, right. Me. Walking out there. <laughs> What's up? It's going on right now. Uh, How are y'all doing? 
uh, there's just like you just keep here and see like you, that everything's in chaos around you and like everything's like blowing up. You're just like I'm fucking live right now. This is me, American Mac on the pedals with the metal fucking podcast. Oh man, that'd be a that'll be a good that would be a fucking wild. Uh, I should have done that on Hurricane Ian. Just like <laughs> yeah, you gotta have the uh, Starlink, man. Go get go get yourself a Starlink tomorrow, brother. Get your, uh, yeah, like you said, now whatever, whoever can get one. All right, good thing. Good stuff. How have you been doing, man? How's your, how's your day going? Mm. Been pretty good. Same. I'm relaxing. Uh, yeah, same. There's another day in paradise in Florida. Exactly. Yeah. That's pretty much and how I, came, I think I came up with a five year plan to get my own house. Yeah. And land. You want to talk I'm buying about land it? and then I'm getting a tiny house, building on it, and then I'm getting a well system. And then getting sewage done to it so I can have water and everything to it and all put in. And then I'm getting all that put in so it can all be easy and done. I have a house. Alrighty then. Bam. Tiny house. Oh, my dear. Yeah, I mean, uh, but I gotta get the trees all taken down and whatnot, and then have them all have a paved driveway, <laughs> and then. Sounds like you got a real yeah, it's plan. Gonna be, yeah, you got, it's gonna you, be. Sounds strict. like you're buying Probably some all- like 70, 80 grand. I'm looking at right there just to do it yeah. all. Seventy, eighty grand, but it's totally worth it versus like four hundred fifty thousand dollars. Instead of 70, 80 grand, which is what I want to do for a tiny home idea. Uh, not even kidding. Tiny homes, literally like $40,000 mm-hmm. for a nice one. And then plus some land, it's like 20 to 10, 10 like 15 grand. Are you thinking like out of Florida? An extra ten to thirteen to take down trees and then be expensive for. So yeah, literally, you're, you're thinking like eighty to a hundred grand. Yeah, you don't, so, even need, you don't even need to take down the trees. Like you have the trees, the trees are like optional. That's like an extra bonus, you know, on top of that. Where are you thinking? Is this like a Florida thing that you're thinking about getting a place or what? I'm I'm thinking Florida. Yeah. Sounds like you're liking Florida more than you thought then. I mean, I'm still thinking about either Florida or PA because I I don't know yet, but in due time it will tell when I had to save up the money for it. But I'm still thinking about it, but I'm thinking it might be Florida. Nice. So, dude, this is our first podcast in a while, but I think this is like gonna be one of the first of many to come in. I hit, we hit up Jake tonight. He's busy at the moment. We wanted to have him on. Jake always brings so much entertainment to this thing that we're doing, and like I think having him on it's like sometimes i feel like i'm here it's like i don't know what to exactly say and i but today tonight i'm feeling it like i think i'm like it's like i, I hit you up it's because like i'm feeling like i have some stuff to say sometimes it's like when i don't do a podcast in a while i come up with like i it like i i build up this like this is like thing inside of me it's like it's like i need to let it out all of the information and like this is my moment here i'm like letting out information with you but I think we got a lot. I think I think I have a lot of like stuff that I want to share going into this month, Red October, and like we got a lot of good stuff uh, to talk about. The, you know, we got the election coming up as well, so that's going to be November, which is a month from now. So there's going to be, I think, a lot of stuff that we have to say. I mean, 
Uh, I think you froze up. You still there, man? <laughs> Look, I'm here. I'm Shadwick, and Mech's frozen up. Hopefully, he comes back on. I'm doing my own podcast. I'm still here. Oh, Can you hear me? Good. Yeah, you're good. You're Can back. you still hear me? Yeah, you're you're blurring out a little bit, but you're you're back. Yeah, you're good. I uh, mean, you keep freezing up though. I think it's just because you're moving around. <laughs> yeah, I mean, do you have any topics that you've been building up in your mind that you want to talk about here tonight? Do you feel like there's anything you want to say here, like going to? Yeah. Uh, what 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 have you been up to? What have you been? Uh, as uh, you keep freezing, man. But yeah, it's uh one of the things I was gonna bring up was we just had the vice presidential debate. I thought that was interesting. Did you watch any of it or? Good. You did. Mm-hmm. Nice. What were your uh, What were your thoughts on that? Anything stood out to you? Well, my main thing I liked about it was the uh, solar panels, and it was I liked the way how you brought it to Jaws, and how they really thought it was. <clears throat> They should be doing it in the U.S. and not China. Screw, yeah. screw that. Like, yeah. We, we should be doing it in the U.S. and not having it deported and whatnot. Yeah. And I agree with that. Like, it should be, be done in the U.S. Like, we need the jobs down here. Like, we need it. 100%. Here. 100%. And it just means that we would have more jobs here. Yeah, there a lot of... It's it's like we're going to other countries like China where they're basically en- enslaving people. They they have like slaves doing the work for a minimum. Like you know, we get paid a, a minimum wage in the U.S. and the U.S. minimum wage is something like fifteen dollars right now. In China, they're getting paid like three dollars an hour, which is like equivalent. I mean, like equivalent to the U.S. dollar. They're getting paid in, uh, out there. They're getting paid in uh whatever the chinese dollar is called or screw up the top of my head but they're getting paid like the equivalent of three dollars us dollars an hour and they're working 24 7 and like the whole thing is is like where we're just we're just our our government and this like current our current government is like is like employing all these people from other countries and like in in that we're importing their goods without putting ta- taxes on them I'm like there it's just causing the whole issue for for the US cuz like we can't compete with that when we have people here who who are looking to get paid minimum wage and like all the factories that we use a lot of them are currently out in China or other places as well and we want to bring factories back to the US and make sure that we can produce things here even for my print on demand stores, I've got a couple of print on demand stores I've talked about. I just made one called pillowparity.com. And even I'm guilty of it. I use a manufacturer that's based in China for my pillows that I make for the website. And they're able to make them cheaper right now. It's just how it is. So that's why I use them. So it's, uh, it'd be great to have the manufacturing <laughs> back here in the U.S. and have stuff built in the U.S. That way I could... Uh, I can support U.S. companies to make the pillows or whatever I'm making. Yeah, that's something that's important. You're right, man. I agree 100% with you. I just don't really think they're just doing it right, and I don't really care for Democrats that much, how they're creating it, how they're Doing it all. Yeah, they're really screwing I think we, everything. I mean, I don't think we need. I mean, not. I mean, why am I saying it that way? I don't think we need. Why did I say that? I don't like.
how am I saying this? I don't really care for the way. I don't know what I'm saying. How am I trying to say this? What I'm interested in is like, did you think that any, you know, we, with the vice president debate, it was Vance versus, it was Vance versus Tampon Tim. And we call him Tampon Tim. I like Tim. the way that Vance. Yeah. I like the way that Vance worded everything and going against Trump because Trump kind of worded everything as the kind of was like, was quiet a lot. And this was like, it's like, he couldn't even like speak a lot. <laughs> yeah. Did you like anything about Tampon Tim? Like the, the Democrat guy? Not a whole lot. No. Was there anything? I didn't like a whole lot about him. Was there one thing that you liked about him? He was smart, and there was one about the water system that I liked. Right, what he said about it. Um, he was trying to make it better. I forget what he said. Yeah, I don't remember or, him mentioning the water system actually myself. Not the water system. I gotta rewatch it. I gotta yeah. rewatch it. That's what I gotta do. <laughs> I watched like half of it. Yeah. And then I was not listening to the whole thing, but gotcha. Yeah, the the only thing I really liked, I I agree. He he seems like he's uh, much more intelligent than like Kamala Harris, and like and and like he was he was actually like aware of that. I think he felt aware that Vance was the right person to be the vice president. Even during like the, the debate, he was kind of siding with Vance on a lot of things. He was like, well, yeah, Vance, you're actually right about this. And I, I respected that part of him when he, when he mentioned those kind of comments and said like, Hey, you know, that's actually makes sense. It actually is common sense of what you're doing. So I, I also like that he, he brought up some God, uh, some some quotes from the Bible, which was uh, interesting, and I thought that was respectable as well. Uh, as a is a is a Christian, so I respected that part of him. But I think a lot of what he mm -hmm. said was just all shit, though. Most of what he said was crap, and he lied. He lied a lot, I think, as well. So didn't Trump call Harris the worst president ever, or something? Yeah, she's the vice president right now, but she's basically like the president. I mean, she could she she could do a lot of things to make our country better right now, but she's just not doing it, and she's just like sitting there. And I gotta re like, I I gotta rewatch that. I gotta rewatch both of those. See what they said. Yeah. Yeah, I watched the whole thing. I was like, I was looking forward to it. It was because, like, I never really heard from Vance. Like, I never really listened to him too much or him or Tim. So it was interesting. So it was like the first time for me to hear from both of them and hear who they were as people. And I, I really, I think that Vance was uh, super intelligent and he seemed very based and, and confident. And he seemed like he was somebody who could lead. He could be a leader, and he had a lot of great qualities in terms of his, like his transparency and telling things, like explaining who he was right in the beginning, explaining like how he grew up and what he went through in life, and letting people know like who he was. Because uh, some of the first questions they didn't like a lot of most Americans, we don't know who these people are, and like they didn't even ask who these people were, but. You know, his first statement was like, "Hey, I this is where I grew up. I grew up in a tough life. I had a I had a mother, and she was she struggled with drugs or some type of addiction. And you know, he went through. He had, he was on he was on food stamps, and he was on uh, all kinds of things. Like you know, he didn't have a lot of money growing up. So like, I think a lot of people in America, especially right now, can relate to that with with the economy and how bad it is. Like dealing with with these stresses that that can be fixed and he talked about how we can fix them things like drill baby drill bring american oil and american gas prices down gas prices are way up right now that's a huge problem 
And, you know, when gas prices go up, that means that everything goes up, including the food at the grocery store, including the lumber prices for housing, including everything. He also talked about the border and how the border is open and everybody's coming in, bringing in fentanyl, bringing in uh, all kinds of illegal activities. We have murderers coming in, rapists coming in. So. I still think they should close the border. For sure, Because you think about it, that will stop all the illegal immigrants coming in. And frankly, it will stop them coming in and they're attacking our jobs, man. They're attacking our jobs. They sure are. They're they're coming in and taking our jobs, uh, and that's that's actually a hundred percent correct. And and yeah, they're they're not paying their taxes. They're just coming in, working, taking taking the low paying jobs. Yeah. You know. And how can they can't even speak English and they're getting by with it somehow? No, and they're also being given tons of money when they get here. They're given financial aid from our country right now we're struggling and it's our, so our, stupid like how are we letting them get away with this it's, it's and people want to buy it. it's like, our tax it's money it. you know like it's yeah we, me and you we both we both have to make money and like we have to we have to pay our taxes that when we make that money and like our tax money is going to these illegal immigrants who are just coming right in through our open border and they're getting paid from our money that we work that we work hard for, whether it's dishwashing or something else. It's like it's like they're taking our uh, like a percentage of our paycheck goes to taxes and where we have income tax, we have all these taxes and they're they're using the taxes money that we send that they're, they're, they're given and they're giving them to these illegal immigrants and it's ridiculous we don't we need to take care of our own people in our country that are struggling that need food to eat and there's homeless veterans on the streets that fought in wars to to make our country free and they're here and they're they're struggling and they need help so fuck them fuck the democrats fuck kamala harris Fuck Tim, tampon Tim, and let's fucking go. America first. God bless America. You know, let's go. <laughs> let's do it, man. Let's bring, let's bring America I back. Want Democrat, I mean, I want, I want illegal immigrants to porn in, man. I want them to porn in, dude. 100%. You think that they will do actually deport them? Yeah, I think that's one of the first things that we're going to do when Trump becomes president in 2024 is that we're going to start deporting a lot of these illegal immigrants, starting with the ones that are here that are murderers and rapists and have been in, you know, they're coming from the worst places. They're coming from places like uh, they're coming with mental dis mental disorders. They're coming from from insane asylums and like doing insane things and we need to get those people out first i think we need to have more there is a that a lot of these people are good people coming in there's a lot of really good people and they have families and they're just looking for a better life just like just like we like our ancestors that came to america you know they they were looking for a better life that's why we created and built america is because we were looking to escape uh the where we came from which is like taxed heavily the, the t tax and everything it was like there you know among other taxes and government control and yeah we came here to have complete freedom we built this the people of our ancestors we built this country yes there were some bad things that happened in the past in our country we had slaves like black slaves but you know i'm from the north i don't think any of my personal ancestors had slaves I think that if I had, yeah, you know, my the people in the the we're most likely from the north. We fought against the south, which which promoted slavery. But I think that was, I mean, there's slavery all over the world. You can't just say that slavery only happened in the United States. It happened. It happens everywhere. It's currently happening. Like you brought up, you said bring manufacturing back to the USA. That, yeah, the manufacturing that's happening in other countries, they're basically uh, is being happened by slaves. So we need to make some big changes. And, and I think Trump and Vance are going to do those changes. They're going to make America better. 
and we're going to have me and you both and every American is going to have a lot more income, uh, a, a lot more ability to, to, to have the opportunity in making our dreams come true. Once Trump advanced, become elected, we're going to be able to actually like our dreams right now are like with these Democrats, our dreams of, of things happening, they're like, they're being wiped out and, we need to have our dreams come true, and the and the way we can do that is by having Trump advance elected in twenty twenty four. So we need to keep fighting for it. We need to keep pushing for it, and they're going to make the change happen that we need to see. You know, God bless America, and thank you to all our troops and everybody who's uh supports the American lifestyle. And we do have our own traditions and everything's important so much is is here that doesn't happen in other countries with capitalism as being a big thing like we have entrepreneurs building businesses and creating new inventions That's like no. we have space force we have people going we have we're going to mars man we're going to make things happen that never happened before and that can only happen with trump vance as president it can only happen with them. Without them being president in 2024, it's basically the end of our country, man. It's just nothing. It's just going to become communism and, and government control and force. And so we, it's just ridiculous all the bad things that can happen. World War Three is a is 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 like there all there were no new wars started during the Trump when Trump was president. No new wars were started. And there's there was peace on earth for four years while Trump was president. Now look at all the chaos that's going on. So let's bring it back. Let's bring back. Yeah, I actually think more. Yeah. You're breaking up, but yeah, I do. I do think that we're very close to World War Three right now with with everything that's happening, sending billions of dollars to Ukraine, which just happened to and sending these long range missiles to Ukraine so that they can attack Russia. It's not a good thing when we're sending those kinds of bombs to help uh, p push those kinds of concepts. And like, I think that it's just leading to, leading to, yeah, you know, there's, I, I'm not a big fan of Russia. I don't like Russia at all. I mean, Russia is like not a great country in it, but, it's just sending money to Ukraine and bombs to Ukraine to start World War Three is what the Democrats are doing right now, and it's not good. We need to take care of our own country first, you know, defend America, and instead of promoting war and pushing for war, we need to push world peace. And I think that Trump advance have a I, they've they've spoken about it. They have ideas to bring world peace to our, to the world, and I think that that's the best situation going forward. So I don't want to see a World War Three. I don't think anybody does. I don't think anybody wants to see the chaos that can happen from that. So much positive stuff can happen. Yeah, I think that the the world is on track to on track. I think we're all gonna be good. I think everything's everything's going to be good. We're just need Trump to get elected. It will be just fine. Exactly. 100%. Fear um, Trump getting elected. You got your beer, brother? Yeah, I just poured some more into it, but it's like overspilling here, but I'll fucking drink to that, bro. Let's get fucked up. Yeah, that's uh, that's one thing that I wanted to bring up was the uh, vice president debate. So I think that that pretty much covered what I want to talk about. Well, we'll probably talk. We can talk about that more. We'll be having more guests on soon, and we can we can discuss that more in the future. Definitely. And I. I think I think our podcast is is going pretty good, man. I'm I've been putting off getting this on other platforms. I'm really gonna start focusing and drilling down on this baby, man. And we're gonna get our stuff up on different audio platforms, Rumble.com. We're gonna get ourselves up on different audio places such as Spotify, Apple, 
and a lot of the main ones that people will listen to where i'm gonna i'm gonna get us up on there this month i I'm, I'm making that promise i promise i'm gonna get us up there this month so i've already like i've already got my mindset to it i think building our brand this is like this is like mm -hmm. the future what we're doing here we're building like this is where people are going to be i think with all the technology that's coming out there's going to be a like a lot of jobs that are no longer need to exist. It's going to be like, we're going to be kind of like with AI and everything that's all this technology. It's like everything that we've been doing our whole lives is about to change. Uh, I've seen it at firsthand, how, how intelligent this, this technology is and like what it's capable of and things like things like that we've been doing, they're no longer going to be need to be done by humans. They're going to be done by robots. We're going to have taxis that come and pick us up from our, from wherever we're at. And they're going to be fully automated. We're not going to need to have a driver. We're just going to get in and we're going to tell it where it needs to go. It'll be like an Uber service where we get in and we just say, Hey, send us here. This is where we want to go. And there won't even be somebody in the driver's seat that needs to drive they'll just be automatic cars that drive us places and that's going to be awesome i mean we have lots to look forward to man it's going to be that'd great be fun. yeah but ladies and gentlemen welcome to the pedal to the metal podcast i'm chadwick and this is american mech and We've been at this for over a year. We've literally been making making these. We kind of over the summer took a little break. Mech, you're breaking up. You gotta get back on here. But like we're gonna be we're gonna be building this going mm -hmm. forward. We got we got we got big plans for this pedal to the metal podcast and seeing where it goes. And I think like everything yeah, we're that we're doing is so important. Where do you think this podcast is gonna go? I think I think we're like you know there's big plans or look at us man we're on video we're on video right now me and you we're making video content this is something that so many people uh, just like bypass and, and don't do it's like we're we're doing we're doing this we're making this happen we're putting in the work we're putting in the effort and like seeing we're seeing some progress it's been slow but that's how it is that's how it is for us at this point so far we're gonna see where it goes when i get us up on other platforms it doesn't even matter we're having fun like we don't even care who cares like about the last podcast we made we're just like looking like i think it's like we got we're gonna keep making them and make them better look how far we've come like how good we are at like talking now we can just like talk about things no, it's like, like we, it's like we the way that we like have like, so we we like know how to like have a conversation now like back in the day it's like we struggled a lot more like, like we've gotten better at what we've done because we put in the time and like every time we do one well, we get better so i think i think they're just getting better and better and like we're gonna put out we're going to take clips. I'm going to take clips out of these like one minute clips of our best stuff. And I'm going to post it on places and never know what's going to go viral. You know, everything can go viral. It's crazy. What can go viral these days? I had, um, I had an Etsy account and somebody made a post on X.com also known as Twitter.com in the past. And it had 8 million view or 10 million, 11 million, sorry, no, has 12 million views right now at this moment uh, from somebody who made a post about my my uh, Etsy store because like I did something that nobody else has done with it. I created these pillows and I created them with AI technology, the designs with them, and like and like somebody made a post about it and it went viral. It's ridiculous. One post can really like. It has uh, like 400,000 people like the post of this person that, that made a post about my store and like things can just, you know, all of a sudden one, one piece of like video that we make, it could be just a random one. We could be getting 10 views, 10 views, 10 views. And then all of a sudden we make one piece of, of podcast and it gets 10 million, 12 million views. I've seen it happen. I've had it happen to me firsthand. It can happen. But the, 
also we have to realize like when it does happen and i think it will happen that those moments only last for a short period of time because when something goes viral people only look at it for you know something that goes viral people only pay attention to it for a few days and then something else goes viral and they move their attention so what we're doing is we're building for the long term it doesn't matter yeah you know, if we get if we get one podcast that makes that gets 12 million views our next podcast might only get 10 views but we have to be okay with that we have to understand that ahead of time that that's just how things work but you know it can happen man and I think like if we get 10 million views it's like that's amazing you know like think about what what we can do what what we can tell people and like what can we use that attention for can we make the world a better place and like can we use that to possibly like help both everybody's in ourselves. It's like, how do we want to make things happen? What do we want to do with this podcast to make other people's lives better? How can we, like, how can we create content that is beneficial to others, that serves others, rather than just like thinking about ourselves when we do this podcast? Like, what do people want to hear? What do we need to talk about more? What do we need to focus on? What do you think we need? I mean, like, what do you think? Like, uh, are we focusing on the right things? I don't know, but we're just going at it. We're just being like real people. So it's just life, hmm. man. You know what? You're not wrong. Who's that? Uh, you know, we should do something wild and go like hiking or biking and see something funny for a podcast. Like meet up one day, exactly. Get a GoPro or whatever. Just go out. For sure, for sure. Like you. For sure, a hundred percent. That would be awesome. We'll definitely have to make that happen. It's like someday, someday. <laughs> Whenever I come back to PA, we'll make that happen. Exactly. Well, Bang, what are we going to do here? We got a good podcast here so far. Thinking about closing it out. You got anything else you want to talk about before we end this one? Or what are you thinking? Don't don't don't. Which Jake was on here? He would keep us going. A hundred percent. Um. So yeah. What about uh, the meeting? Uh, we have a I have a guest lined up. His name is Derek. Uh. Derek and he he was looking to uh, be on our podcast this month. I asked him to be on, and he was he was he was reaching out to people to say that he wanted to be on my podcast. So I reached out to him and let him know like we're looking to have him on, and he's going to be talking about Spinifida. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but he's got a uh, like a rare disease, and we're going to hear from him. Uh, we got to get on and do that. So that's going to be something that's interesting. But we'll have to wait and hear about that because I don't know much about it. A rare disease. So yeah, it's like spina bifida, bifidia, a rare disease. I'm sure we'll be okay. talking about a lot of things with him. He's done. Uh, he's done a lot of podcasts. He's known on X.com as. At, at Derek's Bags. I think that's his username. I, I might be wrong, but I think that's what it is. Uh, yeah, he sells he sells bags on his... He's got an Etsy account as well, and he sells bags for his to make awareness for the disease, and that's something that he does. So he'll be talking about that and how he does, how he sells bags and makes... Uh, he gives a percentage of the profits to... 
to help with the disease and make people aware of it. That would be cool to have him on. I'm looking forward to that one. And we'll have to do that soon. As he's ready to do it right away. It's already October right now. He's ready to do it. He's, he might be ready to do it like tomorrow. We just got to. I'd like to have Jake on for that one because, like, the more if we can have all four of us on, it'd be better than just the three of us, I think. So, yo, let's do it. I have a bottle of whiskey tomorrow. Let's let's do it. Yeah, man. I'm ready. Let's cheers a happy Friday. Who knows? It could be the viral video that we make with him. Yeah, we've had on two guests. So, we've had on. Yeah, we've had on two guests so far, so who would be a third? And then, like, once we have a third on, who knows who will be the fourth? We'll just keep going. We'll just keep finding more people and making things happen. We'll have... Uh, yep. Just have him, and he uh, said his Derek? His name is Derek, yeah. Dang. He's from New Where York. Are you? So... Uh, only, I mean, problem, you know, only problem I got with the guy is he's a New York Yankees fan and I'm a Phillies fan. So right now in baseball, that's a little bit of a issue we have. But we'll we I'll probably I'll probably bring up baseball with him as well, and we'll have a little bit of a a joking argument. I'm not gonna yeah I don't care. It's like I'm not gonna get mad. I'll be on that. I hate I hate the freaking Giants <laughs> as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's a. I don't know if he watches football. We'll have to ask him if he's into that as well. But yeah, like, what do you think? How so? We're gonna have him on as a guest, and he's got a rare disease. We can talk about it now. Let's talk about it. Like, how how do we want to have on our next guest? Like, whether it's him or somebody else. Like, and let's pretend it is him. Let's hope that he does come on. Like, what? How should we prepare ahead of time to have on our next guest? Should we come up with like questions ahead of time? Should we like think about like what we're gonna do having on a new guest? I don't know. Um... <laughs> I was just gonna wing it like we usually do. Yeah, that's, that's, I think like we just wing it and it just works out, especially when we have me, you, and Jake on. And, like, that's how it's always been whenever we have a guest on. It's, like, the more people that we have, the more the more kind of, like, things that we have to say and, like, the more questions we ask. You know, we all have our own kind of questions and, like, our own kind of things to say. So it helps out. The more people on, it kind of lasts longer. So. Very true. Yeah. So that ought to be fun. Yep. Well, dang. I wonder how long this podcast is gone. It doesn't tell me the time. Oh, uh, wait, it does. We're we're at 48 minutes for tonight right I now. I can keep going. Yeah, me too. I, I could too. It's just like I don't know what else to say. Uh, it's like it's like. When we when we have the two of us on here, I got a full beer, man. I can keep going. I agree. Like me too, man. Uh, Let's make this the longest co- podcast. <laughs> I don't know about that one, man. We've done like three fucking hour podcasts, bro. All right, maybe not the longest. Yeah, we'll make this longer. Uh, <laughs> Shit. You so, got any weed with you? Yeah, I, I got beer. Uh, you said weed or beer? Weed. Oh, yeah. Uh, I have THCA, but I, I haven't smoked any of it yet. But I, it's uh, the same thing as weed. You know, when you THCA, when you burn it, it turns it's, – it's, it's legal in Pennsylvania. You can go buy it. I bought it at the store without a medical card, and, like, you can just burn it, and it turns into THC. And the only issue, like, I kind of might have with it is, like, it's not tested for uh, for pesticides or, like, chemicals or, like, um, or, like, metals and stuff that could be in it. But I don't know. I never, 
I used to buy weed on the streets for people but always growing up. I used to just buy it from random people that who knows where it was coming from. So I'm not too, it's like, it's like what's to worry about when you're buying it from a store versus buying it from a random person. It's just the same thing. Uh, everything seems to be getting healthier these days. Like people are eating healthier. People are focused more on what they're eating and like thinking about what they put into their bodies and yeah, it's uh, a lot more good stuff out there these days. So hopefully that's all going to even get better going forward. And when Trump gets elected and Trump and Vance get elected in 2024, mm-hmm. um, there's this guy, his name is, his name is, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to blank. But uh, John F. Kennedy Jr. now, is that right? No, it's a, uh, maybe that's right. But um, yeah, dude, things are about to get healthier. Things are about to get even better. Right now, our water supply in the U.S. is filled with chemicals. And I think when Trump and Dance get elected, that that's about to change. We're going to see uh, things like taken out of the water. And there's a lot of chemicals in our water in our in our drinking water that's if you don't have the right system at your house uh, which would be like a reverse osmosis system or whatever it's like you you might be drinking that's what we have right now yeah that's good uh that's great to hear i'm glad you're drinking good water because there's a lot of people in our country that are drinking shitty water right now and there's a lot of chemicals in our food and dyes in our food like yellow, uh, yellow dyes and red dyes in particular are really bad, and uh, I think we're going to see a lot of good changes happen with with uh, our food and water when Trump and Vance get elected. We're going to see a healthier country. A lot of people are overweight in our country because of the food that we're eating, and, and it's caused all kinds of problems for us. And uh, yeah, once that gets fixed, we're all going to become healthier in general. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm guilty of it too. I like to eat Chick Fil A. I love Chick Fil A myself. I apps too. If I'm eating fast food, it's Chick Fil A, man. I love Chick Fil A, and I'm guilty I love of it. Spicy chicken oh, sandwich. Uh, their chicken sandwich. Their their uh their fried chicken sandwiches, and also their macaroni and cheese. Yum, 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 yum. I don't know if you've ever had their macaroni and cheese, but it's so fantastic. And their milkshakes too are yep. fantastic. If you've ever had their milkshakes, oh my goodness, I haven't. Things, I have they're, not. They're so good, man. I had a Wendy's milkshake recently because they're only a dollar right now, but I threw it out. I didn't even have any of it because it was such shit. Like when you get it, you can't even drink out of it because it's so frozen still. It's like it's like you drink out of the straw and you're sucking out of the straw and nothing comes out because it's like ice cream. But the Chick-fil-A milkshakes, those things come right out. They're just like perfectly made and everything. You can, that is Chick Fil A. They have they have chocolate, vanilla. They have cookies and cream, strawberry, and they always have like a random kind of seasonal thing, whether it's peach uh, or like something random, banana. They just come up with random uh, things right now. One of the one of my favorite sandwiches that they have right now is called the peppermint pimento uh, sandwich, and it comes with like this like. It's like it's like a macaroni and cheese on top of the sandwich, and like they glaze the chicken and like and like and like a um and like some type of honey, and it's just so fucking good. Oh my goodness, man! And you know, I got I got the uh, I got the Chick Fil A app on my phone, so every time I go to Chick Fil A. I, I order ahead of time and I can just like, there's a line at Chick-fil-A and there's at my personal Chick-fil-A, there's like a separate line that the people who order on the app can go in. So I get to go right, drive right by everybody waiting in line and I get to go up and be like the first one. Uh, I don't have to wait. It's like my orders are already getting made and ready and I don't have to like wait in line to order my food. And like, I also get points on my, 
each time I order it, I get points. So I get free food all the time. Each time I order, it's like I, I, my points set up. I get like either like I get things like a large fries or like a chicken sandwich for free. It's just it's just like I'm. Dude, I did that I'm at big Taco fan. Bell. You do it at Taco Bell. I did it. Yeah, I ordered it on Taco Bell, uh-huh. and I was able to just say like I I got a order from Michael Mick, and I like come right up. I was like, all right, sweets. I was there to just grab the bag, and she, she was like, oh, we didn't put it on the taco, but we had put it on the side. I was like, thank you. Just grabbed it. I was like, on the way home. Let's took it out. I used to like Taco Bell a lot. The one I have one near me, but it's really like a, it's got all these bad reviews, and this the place is like apparently it's really dirty, so I never go there anymore. But uh. I used to like their, uh, like their, they had a Baja, I think it was called like the Baja taco or something like that. And, uh, those things were good. I never, I never like had shits from them. Everybody says like Taco Bell gives them shits, but I never got like really bad shits when I did go there back in the day. But, uh, damn, I, you know, I don't like McDonald's. I'll admit that I hate McDonald's. I, I actually, I actually hate McDonald's. It's horrible. Except for like they do have like a coffee, a coffee that's one dollar. You can get any size coffee, and like there's a lot of sugar in it, which is the problem. But it's a good, it's a, it's like for a dollar you get a big coffee, and like I haven't gone for a while to get one. But I mean that's a that's like the one thing I get there. I might get there if I go back there again. But I don't like their burgers, man. I like Wendy's over McDonald's. I think Wendy's is much better tasting. You should try Mr. Beast burgers. I tried I to try those burgers. Well, you brought They're them pretty up. good. Yeah, Mr. Beast, how he does it is he's got things set up so that he's got these uh, ghost stores is what they're called. And, and like, uh, I, I've actually ordered them before. And they're, they're not bad. Yeah, it's it, but you're like each it's it's hard to uh to go into all of that, but to understand, I tried to explain this in a recent podcast we did, but like. Each one, it's like he, like, it's not actually, it's like all the burgers, like you could order a Mr. Beast burger and you could order a Mr. Mech burger from the same place because anybody can open up their own. Like, yeah, you could, you could open your own shop up at this place called the Mech Burger Shop and you can sell them and get paid to do it. We could actually do that as a podcast. We could actually, uh, I mean, it doesn't seem like it's working out. Well I'm not for that guy. rich, bro. I wish I was that rich. No, you don't have to be rich to do it. Actually, it's actually uh, it's called like a, a ghost kitchen, and you can just um, everybody who who works at the ghost kitchen they has like their own hours. It's like this whole thing. It's like a whole complicated system, and I go into it further, but it's it's uh. Yeah, man, you ordered one. You got one by you. That's cool. But I don't think it's doing very well for Mr. Beast. He hasn't talked about it. I have. I don't follow all of Mr. Beast's content, but I do follow him, and I have listened to a lot of his videos. <laughs> this year, I started listening to him more than ever. Like, I never listened to him. I never listened to him my whole life, any of his videos on YouTube, but this year I have been. And, yeah, like, I like, I like, I like some of the stuff that he does, and, uh, he his ghost kitchen his um his Mr Beast burgers are not working out well for him, but what is working out for him is his uh he's got chocolate bars that he's selling. I don't know. Have you ever had one of his chocolate bars? No, I have not. Me neither. They're called the Mr Beast bar or something. I forget what they're called, but those are doing good for him. I think over the the burgers. But yeah, man, I think I think like with our podcast, like we have a lot of good things. We're we're doing this consistently. I think this month we're gonna start putting out more. I really see a future for us and like and like everything we're doing. I think that if we keep doing these together, which I think we can, that we're gonna see a lot of progress happening. And we're someday, you know, we might be able to do a lot of these things that these big creators are doing. We can create our own product, whether it's a, you know, there's. 
I like I like the Full Send podcast, which is one that I listen to. They have their own seltzer alcohol drink. We could come up with some product and sell it in the future, and that's something that we can look forward to. I think once we like figure out and we have an audience, it's just like where can this go? It's going to be great. That sounds great to me. I know. It'd be it'd be cool. I mean, me, you, and me and you are the main guys. Then we got Jake. He's almost the main guy. He's like the side main guy. So, yep. Dude, I used to do. I used to be somebody who I created a podcast before you came along. I would be doing them by myself. I would just be sitting like in my car with my phone and talking to my phone about like things that came to my mind and like things that I thought about. And it wasn't as much fun. I realized like it's way better to have somebody who's there. Like you're on video and I'm on video right now. And like we can see each other's reactions. And it's like it really makes a difference, I think. And, uh, you know, just doing it by yourself is, is like a lot of people do do it by themselves. But it's it's really just not as much entertaining. I don't know. Uh, I'm glad to uh, have this going, man. We just both like it. We both kind of enjoy it. And it's something that it helps. Like, I think it helps us both like mentally to like let this, to like talk to the world. And like, <laughs> at the same time, it helps the world out because like the world can relate to what we're thinking and they can see like, the, like we're serving people by making these podcasts. We're making their lives better because like there's, there's not, you know, there's so many, there's only so much stuff on the internet that they can watch. They get bored after a while. They're looking for people like us that are real and like, like we're just like, you know, we're under, we're underrated. Like we're, we're normal people. We're like normal, just normal. Like we're just like regular people. <laughs> we're not, we're not big. We're not big. We're not famous right now at the moment. So we're just normal dudes. <laughs> normal. Yeah, exactly. Or, or weird. We're weird. <laughs> but, we're weird. Own up to that. Yeah. Uh, oh, man, this is good, man. We're gonna make things happen. Each day we wake up is another day of life. It's like we woke up today. We're alive. We're good. We made it. We made it to another day. Anything can happen, man. You know, be kind to others because you never know what they're going through. That's important to remember. Be kind. Always do do your best. Do do our best. Let's do our best, both of us. Let's do our best. It's tough sometimes. It is tough, but let's do our best to be kind as much as possible to others. Because like everybody's going through something that we don't know about. Even me and you. We're going through things that we like. We have our podcast, and then we go off and we live our own lives, and like we don't know. How, yeah, like we're going through our own things, and like everybody's going through their own problems in life. So if we can be kind to others as much as possible, let's go for it. Why? Why yell? Why be annoying? Why be pissed? Why be? Why hate on each other? It's like just get the fuck along. And that's something that's important that we're going to talk about when Derek comes on. Derek's bags. Uh, Derek is somebody who inspired me to just mention that there because he always makes posts on X.com. He always says, be kind to others because you never know what they're going through. And that's how, that's inspired me to say those words there. It's like it's just like, let's go. Like If we can do it, let's, we're all going through, we're all going through a tough our own tough problems and like we're all facing our own things in life so let's do it make it happen uh shit dude i talk a lot your turn <laughs> we gonna no no i totally agree with you though yeah But no, I still like my tiny home idea. I'm coming with some five-year plan. I want to move out. I want to have a tiny house, my own yard. And I'm going to be living on my own, chilling on my porch, 
in five years, and we're going to be doing this podcast, and I'm going to be chilling outside, be like, the fucker? Hopefully we're still doing them. All right. Predicting the future is tough, and like, things that we always, things that always turn out different than we plan, it seems like, it, for me at least, everything that I plan turns out differently than I planned it. If, if things worked out exactly how I thought they would, I might have like a lot of things better in my life, like in terms of like thinking like that things would be how they would be, but it's, this is how they are. Like, this, is, this is how the world works. And like, uh, we have God, we both believe in God and we both are like, I think we both like pray to God and like, you know, it's like, you know, we have God and that's what's important is like just believing that there is something more to this world and to life, man. Yeah. What do you think? Are we do you have do you have a do you have a Bible? I do not have a Bible. I don't really read. Yeah. I don't know. Unless it's on the computer. I'm gonna get uh I'm gonna get us a okay, Bible. I do read it on the computer, <laughs> but I, I really don't read books. I really don't I'm, read I'm, books. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get us a, a Bible for this podcast and I'm gonna start like reading some crates out of it in the future. Like something just finding good oh, stuff. God. I think that'd be kinda cool. No, not the Bible. <laughs> not the Bible. Not the Bible. Okay. What? Teach me a uh, <laughs> priest. Yeah. Teach me about God. What <laughs> was? Why was he so amazing, God? A hundred percent. I used to have a Bible. I don't know where it went. All right, well, I'm gonna get us a Bible for the podcast, <laughs> and we'll fuck. We'll read. There's some good stuff, man. There's some good, some good quotes in the Bible. I'll just like randomly, like I'll just like open it at a random page, and I'll just be like, "All right, I'll read this for the podcast. This like section here, and like it's we'll see fun. what it says." Like it'll be just like a fun. That could be like a fun, a fun thing that we do. This verse, section one, section three. <laughs> exactly. It's like, like, just uh, pick her, like, this. I'll just open up a random part of it. I'll be like, read it, and then we can talk about, we can talk about whatever I read and, like, let's speak our thoughts on it or something. But, uh,. God bless America. You can read as a book while you're doing a podcast. Yep. Read as Harry Potter. Oh, I don't know about that one, man. Well, you don't want to read as that loud a Harry Potter book? Uh, i just rather watch the movies. I've watched... I think I watched the first three. Oh, Story time for Mr. Chad. I like Lord of the Rings better than I did the Harry Potter. You ever you like Lord of the Rings? <laughs> yeah, I love Lord of the Rings. It's so dope, man. It's such a great movie. It's still good today. It's like uh... I like the second one the best, where they had the war and the uh in the castle. And they were, they all had to hold up in the castle while all the orcs attacked. If you know what I'm talking, you know what I'm talking about. I'm like, yep. yeah, that was my favorite. I love it where you got his finger bit off from that midget. I mean, from um, where he went to get the rain and the fire. Um, what's his name? <sighs> I'm trying, trying to think who got you who even got their finger bitten off. Who who even was that? It was somebody. You're right. It was like uh I don't even remember.
That was a good series. But you know, the whole movie, all they needed to do to solve the problem was, uh, and I remember talking about this back when it came out with my buddies who were really into it, and they got upset at me when I said this, was uh, all they needed to do was, was take the ring and get on one of those giant flying eagles and fly over the volcano and drop the ring in. And the, the whole story would be over because they, they would destroy all of the uh, evil. <laughs> there would be no war. All they have to do is fly over on an eagle and drop the ring in. But that's a funny one. That was a funny one. Yeah. We're at one hour and ten minutes on this podcast. Shit. We did it, man. We made it over an hour together, just the two of us, without Jake. That's pretty good. Let's go. And I can still keep going. Yeah. Uh, would you be able to talk for like for like two minutes while I grab a beer about something random? Uh, by yourself? Yeah. Like what was you what were you talking about while well, I'm gone for two minutes? I'm talking about some drawings I'll have in mind. Alright, go for it. Stir it up. I'll grab a beer. Listen up, ladies and gentlemen. Mech is an artist. Yo, listen listen before I go. Uh we Mech drew Mech drew a dragon for our podcast and it's like that's our podcast logo, but like we haven't talked about it much, but it's really awesome. He has the two eye Two eye dragon spitting out ice fire out of its mouth, and dude, I don't even have. We gotta get like the logo because like I got this my visitor seven fifty one by me, but I'll have to get like a logo so we can have. I don't know, it's lit, but Mech drew this this drawing, and that's what like has been like the representation of our of our podcast, and we've like talked about it and like how he can. We were gonna put a talk, dude. Just go for it. Go for it, man. Go I will. I want to talk Are about some awesome. alien yeah, ideas man. I got. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna start making some cool alien idea, drawing some cool aliens, and maybe I don't know what else to draw, but maybe I'll draw. Oh, some funny animes or whatever. I don't know. Or maybe I'll draw Goku as a god, dressed as Beerus in a god form. Maybe I'll draw that. Him as a god. Him beating up. Yeah. I don't know what else to draw. But I'm definitely going to draw a couple of crazy fu- fucking aliens. For Chad and his new... Good old new channel. I want to draw some crazy aliens for him. I'm going to look some up. I'm going to make some good aliens. So he put it on on this new channel. He sent me it the other night. So I'm going to create some aliens for him. And bam. See, what was it called? L O Oh yeah, pillowparity.com. I'm gonna make some more drawings for you, bud. I wanna make some more drawings. I wanna make some more drawings. So I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, man. Uh, I, I got, got pillowparity.com. 
and what that is. I don't think that's it's wild drawings. That's my new website, pillowperry.com, and it's a it's a shaped pillow website. So how that works is is you take a design. If Mech was to draw something up and he drew something cool with it. Uh, whether I think you mentioned aliens or something, but if you drew something, uh, the, the pillow would be shaped around the design that you drew. Like, so you could have it have like a big head and it'd be, the head would be round around the pillow and then arms. It would be like, yeah, dude, I can do all kinds of things. Like we just put that on the pillow. It's cool. But yes, uh, PillowParody.com was inspired by uh, my Etsy store. I had an Etsy store that was shut down recently and banned permanently after I had been making like a ton of sales from these pillows. And what happened was that uh, somebody made a post on X.com that had gotten, they, they made like a, a, a complaint about my pillows being made with AI and which is what I do. And uh, there was a lot of people that saw the post over 11 million people saw the post and they started uh, coming on to my Etsy and, and like sending me message on Etsy. They were reporting my store because they were upset with it. And a lot of people reported the store and they got it shut down. It stinks because I was making thousands of dollars literally off of these pillows. And now I'm no longer making thousands of dollars on Etsy and I have to keep moving forward as an entrepreneur, keep fighting. That's how it happens. Is like, it's just like somebody can just like, yeah, like something can happen. That's why it's important. Like taking control of, of, and having control of things like building your own website, because when you're on Etsy or on eBay or you're on Amazon, they have control of your, over, over what they want. That's their website. They spent time, they worked on it, they built these websites from nothing. Just like building your own website from some, nothing can be can happen. It's like these people were the first. It's it's just like the fu the future is is for me is like thinking about where do I want to go and what do I want to see happen with my websites. But oh, there's like a whole bunch of shit to go into with that. And I'll talk about that more in another podcast and all of that. But, uh, yeah, I could, uh, I wish I could like screenshot the post and share it on here, but I'll do that. I'll do that another time. I'll do that. I'll have it up and I'll, I'll share what it's, it's crazy what happened with that. I'm surprised uh, you're making a lot of money from that. Yeah, dude, I made a decent amount of uh, sales from it and people were happy with the pillows and Some people were upset with them. It was uh, a whole bunch of chaos, and I made something happen. I made it. I was the first. I was the first in the world to do something big, and because I did something so big and so like, uh, I was a I was a first mover, also known as an innovator or early adopter. More likely, I was an innovator at that to it and because of this reason somebody made a post and it went viral it's like i did something that i did something that changed the world literally i changed the fucking world man like and it was me even though even though my etsy store got shut down like other people are going to be doing what i did now they're going to create stores that that were like mine because they want to make money and like i was I did some, it's, it's, it's like a good feeling and a bad feeling because I can no longer make money on Etsy, but I was the first to do something that changed the, I literally like, like, like 10 million, 11 million plus people have seen what I've done. They've seen the, 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 the artwork that I created and I'll go into it further another time, but I'm going through mixed emotions at the moment with it. Uh, seeing where it goes. Got the website pillowparody.com now. That's my new website. I had hundreds of pillow designs on Etsy, but now I those all got deleted by Etsy. So now I only have uh maybe ten or twelve on my website of the hundred that exist hundreds that existed. 
So, and I also have to do my own marketing and my own, like, I have to run ads for it if I'm going to build the website. It's a whole other problem. It's just part of life. I'm used to living in the dirt. I'm used to the pain and the suffering of being an entrepreneur and building. And that's what it is. It's like, it's fail. You know, when you, when you get hit with a failure, are you going to crumble up? Yeah, are you gonna are you gonna crumble up and sit in a dark corner, or are you gonna fight, 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 and keep trying and try something else and see if it happens? And that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fight, just like Donald Trump. He got shot at twice, and yeah, he's the real fighter. He's the real, the real hero right now at the moment. So if I can see if I when I see him, he inspires me. When I see people like like him fighting through the hard times, that inspires me to keep going. And this podcast here is something that I plan like to build and like with what we're doing. Like, dude, this like, and you too. Like, I think the both of us do. It's like we're gonna keep me and Mech. We're gonna keep fighting. We're gonna keep pushing for this podcast to to change people's lives. We're gonna make this a better place. The world's a better place by what we're doing, and we're gonna fight, fight, fight. That's what we're fucking doing, ladies and gentlemen. Let's fucking go. Oh, yeah. man. Let's keep on going. Uh, me and Mech, we've both gone through hard times, and we're both gonna go through more hard times, and we're gonna keep on fighting. No matter what, uh, as, as long as we wake up in the morning and we're here on this earth, we're going to keep like doing what we can. We're going to keep chasing after our American dreams. We're, we're both Americans with dreams and we both have big dreams. We have the biggest dreams, the bigliest dreams, the bigliest dreams. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> It's true. Look at how the world works. Look at how me and America and Mech, we connected. Like, we never knew each other for the longest time throughout our lives. And then all of a sudden, we connected. And, like, look at what we've done and built here. We've built this. We've been putting in all these podcasts. Over 100 a hundred over a hundred podcasts at this point. That's ridiculous, man. How many people do we know that have done a hundred podcasts? We don't even know anybody that's done like five podcasts. I mean, we're we're like we're like fucking doing this. Like we don't give a fuck if there's ten people following us, five people following us right now, because we know that like building this is uh yeah, I'm speaking for the both of us here. I just I'm talking, dude. Am I am I talking to you? I, I don't know, like do you, am I talking right? Am I uh, am I doing this right? It's oh, like, good, man. I don't know. Keep going. Fuck. Yeah, it's, uh, that's it. That's why I have the American flag behind me. Uh, if you're watching the video, I have an American flag behind me. It's like it's like all these people fought and died for our country, and they they're like we got we got to do the best we can with our freedom that they provided us to, to chase after our dreams and go after them and yeah, take the opportunity and the, the possibility and the, that we have inside of us, inside of our hearts and souls. And that's what we got to do is just make things is, uh, is, is positive and powerful. Be, is, be who we can be. We were we were blessed to ha- we're blessed to have this life where here on Earth, you know, what were the chances that me and Mech were born? Very, the, the, you know, could have been could have been any anybody else that was born. We could have been non-existent, but here we are. God gave us this life, and He did it for God did it for a reason. So we're here. We're making. We're doing what we can. We're doing what we think we're here to do. Yeah, we try go. our hardest, we try our best, we keep on going, we just keep on fighting. Yeah. 
And we keep on fighting. Fuck. We're at 100, 1 hour and 24 minutes, bro. What the fuck are we doing this shit? Wow. One minute. Where's your camera at, bro? What do you mean, where's my camera at? Uh, let me, uh, and then come back in real quick. All right. Let's fucking go, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Pedal to the Metal podcast. I'm Chad with. We got American Mech. We started this off thinking like two, two like one or two years ago, almost probably two years ago, like thinking like, what are we going to do? How are we going to make this? Hey, like, you are. We just, we have like talking. Now I see you. Yeah. Now I, I can don't see you. But now I don't see you. Uh, I think you just got to throw your video on again. I'm sure you can do that. Uh, now your audio and video are off, but now I can see you. But yeah, yeah. now you're back. Choose to try. Uh, choose to life being hard. Choose to entrepreneur. Choose to everything, but go with us or keep on. Living, exactly. choose, to, bro. choose to us to keep All on right. going. Hmm. Ah, you just gotta keep on fighting like Trump does. Mm-hmm. I'm done, bro. I don't know. I'm done. What are we doing here? You done? I'm done. <laughs> What else is there to say for this one? We did so much. I'm feeling good. I got a smile on my face. Drink some beers tonight. Where are we going with this? I don't know. I can keep going for a little bit. I still got a full beer. Right. So. What are you going to do? Like, are you not going to work at all? Are you just going to let your business keep going? Uh, well, that's the, uh, that's the struggle. That's the choice. And asking me that is like a tough, you're asking me a tough question. And to answer your question, I'm going to keep going with this is like these what I'm doing and building businesses. I've been doing it for over uh, around five years at this point. And I think I'm going to keep going with doing the best I can to uh, try to create an income in one way or another through entrepreneurial uh, ways. And it's, it's, uh, it's painful because things like my Etsy shop getting shut down. I was making good income from the Etsy shop. Uh, and that's, that's, a tough thing that just happened to me just the other day. It was just this month, October. Today's October 4th. It just happened to me on October 2nd. So I'm facing a new hardship at this moment with that being shut down, but there's other opportunities. There's other places to sell things. I've got a shop. I've got two, I've got multiple Shopify stores, two of them being uh, visitor751.com, pillowperry.com. We've got other places to sell. It doesn't have to be just Etsy. There's also big places like amazon.com, ebay.com, and there's a couple others. There's also other things popping up. I can use even, uh, you know, I, I'm not a big fan of, of using TikTok, but there's TikTok even these days, and TikTok has their own marketplace to sell things on. Facebook and Instagram have their own marketplaces and I've used them in the past uh, to sell things on. And I know that that's, a, that's available. I know there's places that I've sold on in the past, including like uh, uh, Fiverr. There's a lot of different apps. There's a lot of different places to sell and Etsy doesn't have to be the end of it. So I'm, I'm just going to keep fighting and see what happens and, that's what I plan to do is just keep fighting and, and trying everything I can. And like, it's, it's a, it's a tough battle when, when, uh, when there's 
like always different problems every day and it's it's like i'm facing different stresses but it's like that's the the stresses that i face it's like those are the stresses that i want to face i have america i have you know it depends what happens i think this election is going to be a big factor in how america goes forward and you know people right now they have a hard time buying things on my websites and buying things on all these different platforms because they don't have any money because there's not a lot of money going around because there's Democrats are destroying our economy. <laughs> but uh, I think the future is going to be good when, when Trump and Vance get elected. And, and if they don't, I think it's going to be a depressing future and I'm going to be very upset. And I don't know. I don't know. I might, it might be the end of my businesses if Trump advanced. I think Trump advanced do play a big role in the future of America, in the future of entrepreneurship, in the future of like our podcast, even as in like the future of World War III. Everything has to do with politics, and that's why I fight for politics. I've got uh, in my car. I've got a Trump hat, and I keep it in the front of my car. I keep it on my dashboard. And right now, and every time I park, I, I pull in backwards and I keep it on the front of my dashboard. I want people to know when I get out of my car, I'm a young man and I'm voting for Trump. And I'm, I, you know, I want people to know that, that, that it's okay to, to be proud of, of being a Trump supporter. And like, that's what I do is like, I just want to, to let people know that. This is a, a big election that's coming up, and I think that this is going to have a huge impact on all of our futures as Americans. So hopefully things are going to go well. The last election, I think it was rigged. I think Trump won it. I think that uh, there was a lot of votes that were counted uh, for people who voted more than once. And I think that there were a lot of votes that were undercounted for Trump where people voted for Trump and their votes weren't counted. And I think that's going to happen again in this election, which is why what Trump says, he says, let's make this election too big to rig. Let's all go out and vote. Let's all go out and vote. And that means whether it's now, because some people... A lot of people in our country, they can vote right now. They can send, they can do mail-in voting. People have already started voting for the president at this point. I'm going to be voting on November 4th. And I think, I don't know what you're going to do. Are you going to vote on November 4th or are you, what are, is that your plan too? Yeah, I'm going to vote. I plan on going in. You're, are you are are you 100% sure that you're registered to vote? I'm pretty sure. All right. Uh, yeah, because if you're not sure, you should definitely double check on that right now, right away, to make sure you're registered to vote because your vote is important, and we need you to vote. We need me to vote. We need to all vote for Donald J. Trump and Vance. So that's where I'm gonna leave things off on no, here. I should be because I did my license. I know I got that registered to vote three years ago, so I should be registered to vote. So that three yeah, but, years ago. Uh, you did it. You did move from Pennsylvania to Florida, so you have to make sure you're registered to vote in Florida. You have to re-register to vote. Did you register to vote in Florida? Is the question. Yeah, I okay, did. Good. Great. That's fantastic. That's what we need to hear. <clears throat> I live in a swing state. Pennsylvania is a swing state, and what that means is that uh, there's a lot of Republicans and a lot of Democrats in the state. You live in Florida where it's like a lot of Republicans and, you know, Trump is going to win Florida most likely. But it's it's still important that you vote regardless. But it's my state is very my state being Pennsylvania is even more important to vote for for all of us to vote for Trump and advance in Pennsylvania because uh, we need to see him win Pennsylvania. It's a very important state. For Trump to win is is Pennsylvania. So, ladies and gentlemen, go make sure you're re registered to vote as a Republican and vote for Trump because 
I agree with you one hundred percent, but I agree. Our future does does actually depend on this election, in my opinion, very heavily. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Where's your drink, boy? You're supposed to drink. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm not running the end and you'll eat something. All right. Yeah, me too. I think we are. Uh, we're at an hour and 34 or 35 minutes now. Look at how far we've gone. We probably said I'm like hungry. a half hour ago, we said we'll add an extra, we'll make this longer. And we did. We made it a lot longer. So let's, let's end this boy up. You want to close this out, man? I'll let you close this out. I opened. Bro, I've done so much talking. You gotta give us the good close out. Nope. I opened. You close. Uh, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Pedal Still Metal Podcast. I'm Chadwick. That's American Mech. Hope you all enjoyed this one. Have a great evening, evening day, and God bless America. Peace out.